Hey everybody, welcome back to PvP Dinner Theater. I'm Hillhouse, and today we're going to talk about carb cycling. Now, carb cycling is a diet plan that I personally use. It's been very useful to me in the past, and it's working for me right now. And it is something that can be very effective as far as jumpstarting your weight loss program or even helping you get over a plateau that you may be facing. Also, we're going to go ahead and have a recipe at the end of the video. It's going to be an easy breakfast quiche. It's very delicious. It's got a good, decent amount of protein, and it's low carb, and it's low fat. I think you're going to like it. It's very, very simple to make, and it can last a couple of days in the fridge. So stick around, and let's get going. So what is carb cycling? Well, put simply, carb cycling is an approach in which you alternate your carbohydrate intake on either a daily, weekly, or a monthly basis. And this can be used to either accelerate or start your fat loss program, get over a plateau that you're on, or even keep yourself at physical performance while you're doing other dieting. Now, I use this on a daily basis, meaning I have three low carb days, three medium carb days, and one high carb day. And I alternate my low carb days between my Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and my medium carb days between my Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And on Sunday, I have a high carb day. So basically, carb cycling is just planned changes in your carbohydrate intake to accelerate fat loss or to promote a change in your body chemistry. Now, on your low carb days, you're gonna have a little bit of a higher fat content. And on your high carb days, you're gonna go back down to a lower fat content. Now, this means good fats, such as olive oils, avocados, things of that nature, walnuts, pecans, things like that. Something that you're gonna get a good natural fat from. You don't want to overdo it, but you're going to increase it slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of what I use on a weekly basis as far as my menu. So on a low carbohydrate day, I might eat something, let's say, for example, the Easy Breakfast Quiche. Now this has a good amount of fat in it because you might use a little bit of olive oil to saute the vegetables, but I would recommend to go ahead and uh, use olive oil because that is a good source of a healthy fat or even an avocado oil. You can also add avocado to this dish if you want to increase that fat level since it is a low carbohydrate day. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll have a serving of the breakfast quiche and I'll skip my oatmeal for the day. Then I'm going to have my snack. Now my snack is going to be some sort of a lean protein. I'll either have a yogurt or I'll have a cottage cheese. Now yes, there are some carbs in the cottage cheese and the yogurt, but you're not having your normal carbs, which are going to be fruit or some sort of vegetable that's going to bring in that healthy carb to you, maybe even a potato or rice. So you're not going to have that on your low carb day. So what you're looking at is you're looking at a high protein snack in between your breakfast and your lunch. So for lunch, what are you going to have? Well, what I recommend to do on a low carb day is a nice healthy salad and some tuna or chicken or fish, some sort of a lean meat and throw some avocado on there. Throw some walnuts on that salad. That's going to give you that good fat content to compensate for the low carbs. Now for your next snack, like I said, you're going to either have your yogurt, your cottage cheese, whatever your high protein snack is. So towards the end of your day on a low carb cycle, you are going to feel a little bit hungry. So what do you do at dinner? You want to avoid that snack. You want to avoid that overeating at night. So what I do is I load up on my steamed vegetables, maybe some grilled asparagus even with some uh, olive oil, some garlic, salt and pepper, things like that. Give it, give it some flavor and don't be afraid to use the seasonings. The seasonings don't have a crap ton of calories in them and it's not going to affect your diet that much. You're not looking at carbs. You're not looking at fat. You're looking at seasoning. So don't be afraid to use your seasoning so that you can fill up on these vegetables and you can go ahead and make yourself feel full. But I'll usually make a nice plate of steamed broccoli with a nice lean protein. I'm going to go ahead and increase my protein at this point in order to make myself feel fuller. Now that's what works for me. Also, water. Water is key to this. It helps you digest your food and it also does help you feel full. Now, the more fiber you're getting in your diet too, the more fuller you're going to feel. So it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of fiber as a nutritional supplement to your diet. This can help you feel full towards the end of the day also. You can also have a later snack, but it's going to be something healthy, such as a smoothie or some sort of a homemade fresh dessert that has low calorie, low sugar, low fat, low carb kind of hard to do on a low carb day. So what I recommend is you have yourself a smoothie. They do have low fat, low carbohydrate yogurt. They do have different products that you can get in order to make something that's going to fill you up, that's going to taste good, that's going to satisfy that sweet tooth 
or that craving that you may have at night. So there are options available. Me, myself, I go for a high protein, high fruit smoothie. Okay, so let's talk about a medium carbohydrate day. Well, it's really very easy. What I do on a medium carbohydrate day is I'll go ahead and I'll add my oatmeal for my breakfast. I will not have any carbs at lunch and I will not have any carbs at dinner. However, I will add a little bit of carbohydrate to my snacks, meaning my yogurt or my cottage cheese. Now you can do this with fruit, you can do it with vegetables, maybe a little bit of rice. Uh, you can do this with a whole bunch of different things. It's just a matter of measuring out what you're gonna eat. You wanna have enough to where you're actually feeling full and it's gonna help you to get to that next low carb day the day after so that you're not feeling like you're killing yourself on this diet. And about three portions of carbohydrates on a medium carb carbohydrate day is what seems to work for me. It keeps me from feeling like I'm starving. It keeps me from feeling like I have to have a carbohydrate and get that nasty craving and go out and pig out. Now on a high carbohydrate day, this is something completely different. And I've, I've read many, many different opinions on a high carbohydrate day. Me, myself, I don't overdo it. I will have a half a cup of oatmeal at breakfast and some fruit. That adds a healthy amount of carbohydrates to my breakfast, gives me a ton of energy that day, it helps me get going. Next on my break, I will have either yogurt or cottage cheese and some fruit or some vegetables, something with some carbohydrates in it. For lunch, I will have either a nice salad or a steamed vegetable with a nice lean protein and a half a cup of brown rice or a medium baked sweet potato. And you can eat white potatoes. That's perfectly fine. Baked potatoes are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They are a, a good carbohydrate. They're natural. It's a vegetable for crying out loud. A baked potato is not going to hurt you once in a while. Sweet potatoes, I personally love them. A little butter, salt, and pepper. Freaking yummy, man. I'm telling you, it's I love this stuff. Now for my next snack, I'm going to also have a yogurt or a cottage cheese. I alternate them between and some fruit or vegetable. And for dinner, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did for lunch. I'm gonna have either a salad, a steamed vegetable, some sort of a lean, healthy protein, and a medium baked potato, sweet potato, or a half a cup of brown rice. I love brown rice. I'm gonna keep saying brown rice. You can eat white rice if you want. Me personally, I love brown rice. And there's a lot you can do to it. You can do pretty much anything to brown rice that you can do to white rice. You make fried rice, you can make stir fry, you can do all that stuff. So after dinner on a high carb day, do you still have your shake? Well, hell yeah, you still have your shake. Put some fruit in there, throw a cup of yogurt in there, maybe a little bit of milk, some ice, have fun with it and enjoy it. This is also kind of a little bit of a cheat day. So if you wanna make yourself a healthy chocolate shake, maybe you'll add a little bit of chocolate sauce to it with some fruit. What I like to do is I'll add a little bit of Greek yogurt, about a cup of Greek yogurt, some ice, a few strawberries, maybe some raspberries, maybe some blueberries, and then I'll throw a little bit of uh, Hershey's chocolate syrup in there. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now they say it's fat free, but come on, man. So you add a little bit of that to it. Basically, it's a treat is what it is. So go ahead and enjoy that if you want to give it a try. <laughs> but anyway, now what I saw when I first started doing carb cycling is I lost a ton of weight really fast because I also incorporated this into my workout program. Now, the nice thing about carb cycling is it's very easy to prep cook for. You can cook for the entire week, have your meals set out for you in your trays, in the fridge. How do you use carb cycling in conjunction with your workout? Well, what I do is my medium carb days are going to be on my workout days. So I am going to be working out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Those are my medium carbohydrate days. Now, now, why? Because you need those carbohydrates for energy when you're going to the gym to lift or to do your cardio. It's very important that you cycle your medium carbohydrate days or even your large, your high carbohydrate day on your workouts. The more intense you work, the more carbohydrates that you're going to need. So that's why tailoring a medium and a low carbohydrate to your specific body needs and your goals is very important. You have to pay attention to your body and what you need. You want to make sure that you're not hurting yourself, number one. So make sure that you are eating enough. Believe it or not, this is not a myth. You have to eat to lose weight. That is 100% true. I believe it with all my heart. You have to eat to lose weight. If you don't eat properly, you're going to gain weight. But if you eat healthy, you eat what your body needs, you treat your body like a machine. You're going to only put in the premium fuel to your machine. You want your machine running 100% perfect. So what are you going to do?
Are you going to put crap in it? No. You're going to put the good stuff in there. You're going to go ahead and spend the high dollar on that premium, and you're going to get it in your body and make that machine run 100% perfect. So don't be afraid to consume food. Just consume the right food. So guys, carb cycling is very effective for me. It works for me. I enjoy it. I like it. Well, hello. How you doing? You want to take a break? You want to take a break? So guys, carb cycling is very effective for me. I like it. I feel good when I do it. And if I start to feel lethargic, anything like that, then I adjust my nutritional intake according to how my body feels. You have to pay attention to that, guys. Pay attention to your body. It's not going to lie to you, okay? So give this a try. Go ahead and check out the recipe at the end, guys. I think you're really going to like it. That is Carb Cycling Simplified, guys. There is more into it. You can go ahead and look on the web. You can look at Shape Magazine, Fitness Magazine. You can look at the American Medical Association. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just giving you the information that I get from the research that I've done. It's very simplified and broken down, and I hope it's easy for you to understand. But Carb Cycling is basically alternating your carbohydrate intake from low, medium, and high days. And you can switch these around to anything that you need. Lots of resources out there for carb cycling. There's lots of resources for every diet plan that I plan on talking about. And you can go ahead and do your own research and find out the information that you need that's gonna work for you. Um, there's tons of information that's out there. American Medical Association, Shape Magazine, Fitness Magazine, Bodybuilding.com. You can go to any one of these places and they're going to tell you about carb cycling and how it works down to the scientific fact of it. Now, there are a couple of good books that are out there. And one of the books that I personally like is this one right here. It's called Burn the Fat and Feed the Muscle. It's by Tom Venuto. If you can get your hands on this book, I recommend it. it. It breaks it down to you in a very simplified way and it helps you to understand what you need to get to as far as what your nutritional intake should be for the goals that you have and your body type. It really helps you to figure that out. I use it in conjunction with my fitness pal and it helps me to keep track of the exact calories that I need. Now guys, I went ahead and I weighed in this week and I weighed 220.8 pounds. Now each Thursday when I post a video, I'm going to have a picture of my weight up there, whether I go up, down, or stay the same. I'm not going to fake the funk. I'm going to show you guys that the struggle is real, that it's hard for everybody. Good, bad, or indifferent, I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm going to show you the progress that I'm making. And if I am having struggles, I'm going to show you that that struggle is real, that we all have it. And it just happens. Sometimes you reach a plateau and you just can't get over it. And that's what some of these diets are tailored for. That's what some of these diets help you do. Don't give up. I'm not going to give up. And if you're following along with me, I hope you're not giving up. If you need some help, if you need somebody to talk to, if you need to just tell me, vent or, or get it off your chest or even ask a couple of questions. I'll help you do the research. I have no problem with that. So go ahead and leave your questions, your comments down below, or you can even private message me. I don't have a problem with that at all. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and help you with whatever it is that you need help with. Uh, I may need help and I may learn something from you that I didn't know. So if you have something that you want to tell me, if you have some advice for me, or even if you have more information on something that I've discussed, please feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. Like I said, I am not a professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a regular guy who has the same struggles and the same journeys that you do. And I want to get to a nice, healthy place, and I hope that you're following along with me. So anyway, guys, from PVP Dinner Theater, I'm Hill House. Enjoy the recipe at the end. I hope you make it. I hope you like it. It tastes great. It's fresh, full of vegetables, and I really think you're going to enjoy it. So anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Great gaming and healthy living.